Orioles ace Corbin Burns touts one of the best pitches in the game. According to StatCast's run value metric, Burns' cutter has been the best cutter in baseball every single year since he started throwing it in 2020. And the right-hander throws that pitch about 55% of the time, so what did Burns look like before the cutter? Well, in 2019, the then Brewer appeared in 32 games. He had an ERA of 882. Instead of a cutter, the right-hander threw a four-seam fastball. It had a run value of negative 24, which ranked 610th in the majors, otherwise known as the worst in baseball. Now, on the surface, it may be a little difficult to understand why that pitch got hit so hard. The velocity was good. The spin rate was great. So I'll let Corbin explain, and then I'll try to translate. Yeah, so I've always had um, natural cut on, on my fastball. Um, and so for years, I um, was always trying to throw the you know, the four seam at the top with the good ride that um, you see a lot of guys are able to do. And the more I try to do it, I just realized that I, I couldn't do that. The way my arm worked, the way my hand worked. So Burns mentions good ride on the fastball. Ride just refers to vertical movement. Essentially, you want the fastball to stay on plane without dropping for as long as possible to give it the illusion that it's rising. Of course, it's not really rising, but to a hitter, he thinks it's gonna drop more than it does. A pitch is always working against gravity, and your spin efficiency is going to determine how well a pitch stays on plane. Um, I didn't get enough spin efficiency that a lot of those guys can do, um, which means I was just on, more on the side of the baseball than they were. So. Okay, so a few things to break down in that one. Spin rate is just measuring the revolutions of the baseball. For a pitch like a fastball that you want to stay on plane, a higher number is usually better. Spin efficiency is measuring the percentage of that spin rate that is contributing to pitch movement. So let's go back to Burns fastball from 2019. Guys like Garrett Cole and Justin Verlander, with a dominant fastball, had a spin efficiency of 97 and 98% on that pitch. But Burns was down at 58.5%, which means he was spinning it, but not in a way that helped with his movement. Instead, as Burns said, he was getting on the side of the baseball. So why does that make a difference? Picture a clock. For a four-seam fastball, you'd like the ball to be rotating perfectly vertically at 12 and 6, and getting behind the ball helps you get that spin as it comes off the hand. But for Burns, he was a little off to the side, which is limiting your vertical movement and increasing your horizontal movement. In this case, cutting action. And the rest is history. Instead of trying to fight you know, the cut action and trying to throw it straight, I said, you know what? I'm just gonna keep throwing this four-seam fastball as hard as I can, and it's got, if it cuts to it, great. Um, and the more I threw it, the more I just kind of let it go, the more I was able to get comfortable with it. And, um, that's, that's really all it is, just a forcing fastball, some cut to it. And as Burns mentioned, there weren't really any major changes to his grip or mechanics. He just allowed himself to throw the pitch that his arm was best suited for. It's, so now, now I'm just throwing it. Before I was trying to really make sure I got behind it and, th and try to throw a forcing fastball, uh, which was unnatural from, from what I was doing. Um, so when I finally just told myself to quit trying to do that, um, quit trying to be the you know the, the guy that all these pitchers are and throw these four seam fastballs at the top of the zone. I'm just gonna do what I what I know how I can do, and that was grab a four seam and throw it as hard as I can, and it, it has the cut to it. So you know, I get I get questions about it all the time, like how do I throw it like that? How do I throw it so hard? And um, for me in my mind, it's just my four seam fastball um, and the way my hand you know presents on the baseball when it comes through the uh, my arm motion um, just comes just just enough on the side of the ball to to make it have that cutting action. Yeah, Burns certainly isn't what other pitchers are. More specifically, other pitchers aren't what Corbin Burns is. Nobody else in baseball can throw a cutter like that.